Yo, what is up? We are back. Casual bass guy, back with another one. Hey, do the boy a favor and go ahead and subscribe before we get started into the video. The channel's been doing great. On our way to 300, the next micro goal is 300. So help your boy out. Go ahead and uh, smash that subscribe button and uh, smash the like button as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We're back on the uh, river. Got the old tube with me. Got a little bit of jig action to start the, the day off with. I'm not sure what, what this will turn into, but uh, I'm gonna be throwing some smaller jigs. Um, I've got the, got the Mike's mini flip out jig with the rage crawl, rage trunk on the back of that. See if they're they're biting the jig. If not, then we'll uh we'll hop around, see what they're they're wanting to bite, and uh go from there. Come along, guys. Let's see what we can get into. And once again, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Stay tuned. Go, let's get to it. Ike's mini flip out jig, Strike King Rage Crawl, small little jig. Just flipping all this brush up and down here with that jig, gonna gonna pick this stuff apart. There it is. Got him. There we go, first fish of the day on the jig. Come on. Come on, buddy. Got him. Here we go, baby. First one of the day on the, the Ike's mini flip out jig. Where is he hooked? Oh, he's hooked right in the tongue. Got it. There it is right there. Ike's mini flip out jig, Strike King Rage chunk, Falcon Lake Craw, PB and J jig. Boom. Beautiful fish to start the, the afternoon with. All right, Bubba. Hell yeah, son. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see that? There it is. Got him. Good fish. Nice. Let me 
back off of this spot using my spot lock. If you would quit. Nice. Just about the same size as the first. Beautiful sized fish. Beautiful. With the with the jig. Good stuff. Second one of the, the afternoon. I'm not mad at it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful frame. Nice and healthy. Let's go, son. We out you. We out you. You heard? Let's get back out there. See if we can pick up any more in this area. All right, I'm gonna start flipping these. I'm gonna start flipping this uh, this brush over here. Just kind of pitching. Ton of brush ton of places for these these bass to hide out in and we've had two already come on the jig so I'm pretty confident there's gonna be another and hopefully if we're lucky a couple more we still got a long ways to to, to keep covering water and uh, we're off to the perfect start There's a bite. No. Oh. I think that was a smaller one. There you go. He dropped it. He's picking it back up. Got him. Little fella. Little dude. All right, so coming up here, away from the brush, this this about right here, where this point and this point are, it turns into hard rock. There's sand around and uh, really large slabs of rock. A deep pocket right here leading up to another point. So I'm gonna target this area right here. Hopefully we can get bit but it is a high percentage area. Usually at the beginning of the rock where the transition is, is where you'll have luck, but obviously you won't know what the, what the bottom feels like unless you're out here on the water or you have uh, uh, some uh, electronics. So here's another transition right here. It gets, it gets more shallow over here and it's deep right here. So I'm gonna target that. I'm gonna kind of back off and uh, Drag this jig through this transition right here. There he is. Got him. Little one. That was money, man. He's little, but that's money. These things you learn from, from watching people who are super informative. And let me credit one of them really quick. is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. And that's uh, Tactical Bassin. 
They give out great information that you can use anywhere. Lake, pond, bank, boat, all of it. And uh, I'm able to take those nuggets of information and, and uh, use them, use them at, on the waters that I'm fishing. So that's one of the uh, one of the nuggets I've got from that channel is uh, fishing transitions and and targeting the narrow waterways that don't have a ton of uh, features besides rock and uh, brush or banks with brush the transitions are, are where you should target we're gonna see if we can get another one see if there's any more stacked up in there Now this is what I'm super excited about right here is fishing in this area in this stretch right here. So at this point, we've got huge boulders about the size of that on bottom. I don't know how deep it is. It's, it's too far for me to touch, but I'd imagine it's about 10 to 15 feet at its deepest spots. And then it transitions up into five, between five and seven and, and, and as shallow as three. But uh, this bank right here is money with all this rock. A little bit deeper water. I'm just gonna drag this 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 uh, this flipping jig nice and easy over this uh, this rock bottom. I just got smacked. Yep, I just got smacked. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh no, he came off, dude. Follow up with the crankbait. Damn, that was a good one. Golly, man, what the heck? Didn't even set the hook or anything. He took it down, I thought he had it. I didn't set the hook, pull it out of his mouth. Come on, baby, where you at? Where you at, son? Oh yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. That's a good one. Decent, I mean. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Looks like the same one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't spit, don't spit it, don't spit it. Don't spit it. Don't spit it, don't spit it. Don't do it, don't do it. He's barely hooked. No, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. No, 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 don't spit it. Yes. Yes, look at that. Bam, son. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. It's like a sexy shad color. Oh yeah, that feels good. What I'm talking about, son. 
that's on the uh, Falcon the Falcon uh, Buku series medium heavy rod to me seven foot to me this rod is is actually it feels more like a medium really soft tip um, it's perfect for crankbait fishing um, it's it's budget friendly super good rod and that's on the SLX DC 63 to 1 that's what I'm talking about son that is what I'm talking about I swear that's the fish that blew up on the popper I feel like it is I could be wrong maybe there's another one we'll find out but that's a good fish Dang it, I was gonna weigh him, but we'll weigh the next one. That's a good fish right there. Let's see if we got any mo over there. I'm getting it to the bottom and then messing with the retrieve. Oh, oh, something big. Something big. Oh, broke me off. Damn, I tried to loosen my drag, but there was no chance. Damn, man. Waiting for something to come up and just try to throw it. If he throws that bait, maybe I can find it since those crankbaits come up. Damn, I like that crankbait. It was the only Livingston one I had. <sighs> it's the only crankbait in chartreuse that I had with me. I got a white one. I got the old Guggen Bates. I got the Spro Little John, but that one's a little light for right here and it's a little windy. Let me go with the little bit heavier one. Man, I tried to, ah, oh, if I would've just been, I reached for the, I reached for the drag for the clicker and, and it just, it was too late too late if i would have hit it man i would have i would have had a chance but too slow too slow got him Good one. Get over here. Don't spit it, please. Don't spit it. Don't spit it. Don't spit it. No. Chill, bro. Got him. Don't. Chill, bro. Chill. Please chill. Oh yeah, we got him. Got him on the little Guggen Bates flat banger. He hit it quick. As soon as that thing do dove underwater, came out for it. Boom, flat banger, little one pounder. All right, buddy, there he goes. Let's try to get a couple more. All right, y'all, that does it for this evening's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We, uh, we got to catch some fish on the jig. We got to catch them on the crankbait. We got to catch them on top. A little bit of everything. Um, could have been throwing some different baits, but I'm glad I stuck to my guns. I'm glad I stuck to what I wanted this video to be about. Um, I did throw the crankbait and the top water in there at the end, but I just I felt like it was a felt like it was a proper move to make and it kind of paid off 
Uh, super sad about that Livingston lures crankbait that I lost, but it is what it is. It's part of the game. That's fishing. You lose baits. And uh, I guess that gives me an excuse to go get another one. So anyways, thanks for coming along, guys. Appreciate it. Once again, thank you guys for the support. I truly appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to grow without you guys. I wouldn't keep fishing without you guys' support. So I want that to be known to you guys that I, I truly appreciate it. And uh, make sure you guys comment in the comment section what your favorite jig and jig trailers are along with your uh, favorite uh, crankbait and top water. So thanks for coming along guys. Remember, hashtag 3hundo. Let's get to 300 by the end of the month. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you aren't. Help your boy get up to 300. That's the next goal. Thanks for coming along. This is Casual Bass Guy signing out. Sayonara. Do say. Arrivederci. Peace.